This video will cover how to set up panic mode. Panic mode is similar to a safe self level slash angle demand mode, but it is accessed with a separate two position switch slash button that acts more as an override to the current set flight mode. While the desired effect might be achievable by just having a safe flight mode to resort to, some might prefer this method instead. Panic setup requires having configured and tuned at least one flight mode with safe self level slash angle demand mode enabled. Before setting up panic mode in Ford programming, we'll have to assign a channel on the transmitter. To do this, we'll go to Model Setup, Channel Assign. In this case, I'll use AUX5. If you don't have a channel available for this feature, then it's probably best to just skip this setup video and use a flight mode with SAFE instead. On AUX5, I'll assign my I button. To enable panic mode, you'll need to make sure that the channel positions are correct. 100% will be off, and negative 100% will be on. If that's not the way you want it, make sure to reverse your channel before continuing. Now that the button has been configured, want to go to forward programming. In Ford Programming, we'll go to Gyro Settings and first, Flight Mode Setup. Here we need to enable panic in the flight modes in which we want it accessible. This might be all flight modes, but if you want a flight mode where panic mode can't be engaged, then you'll keep it as inhibited for that flight mode. But in my case, I will enable it for all flight modes. Now to actually configure panic mode, we'll go to System Setup, Safe slash panic mode setup, then panic. The first thing you'll see in our panic menu is the panic slash safe channel. We'll want to choose the channel we just assigned to our button or switch, in this case, AUX5. The delay feature determines whether there's a delay in leaving panic mode once it's engaged. So if I leave this inhibited, as soon as I release the panic button, I'll go back to my normal flight mode. However, if I activate the delay, as soon as I release the button, panic will remain engaged for two seconds. This is to give the model an adequate amount of time to auto level in case you sporadically press the button as you're panicking. <laughs> this is the flight mode in which the safe gains will be accessed for panic mode to operate properly. This is where you need to choose a flight mode that has already had safe tuned. In this case, flight mode three. However, there is a suggestion I would make. If I decide to go back and tweak the settings for flight mode three, then that might affect my panic mode. One way around this is going back to our utilities menu under system setup, copy flight mode settings. We can choose the safe mode and then we can copy to a flight mode we're not using, such as flight mode four. Before doing this, as mentioned previously, make sure that the source flight mode gain settings have been set to fixed. Since that's the case, we'll copy to flight mode four. And now we can use flight mode four as our reference point for panic without worrying about tweaking our flight mode three settings. We'll go back to safe panic mode setup, panic, and we'll choose flight mode four. Next we have our angle limits. As with safe angle demand mode, our angle limits determines how our stick inputs will map out to a demanded angle. For panic, we usually want this to be a much lower angle than our safe mode, as we want the plane to auto level relatively well regardless of whether we're applying a stick input or not. With these angle limits set lower, our stick input will still have the plane reach a relatively close to level angle. So we'll leave these at the defaults. To test panic mode on the ground, enter a non-safe flight mode and then press the button 
the control surfaces should deflect to try going back to the level angle. Once it's verified on the ground, you can test on the air by flying inverted in an AS3X mode, pressing the button, and watch the plane as it rolls out to a level angle. Be ready when testing this initially in case there are any settings that are not configured properly.